the project is a database of about 900 uh, slaves from Fairfield from its inception in 1639 to about 1848 when Connecticut uh, officially abolished slavery. And you think of all of the instances and examples of Southern slavery that you learned, but it was still a really prominent business in the North as much as it was in the South. On the town's website, it says there are about 260 slaves during the Revolutionary War period. Over the course of our research, Alec and I have found 900 individuals in this same time period living in Fairfield alone. We have found that there are families whose ancestors were slaves, have stayed around in the Fairfield Westport and like Bridgeport areas. This information could potentially be really helpful to them if they're interested in learning about their ancestry. And this research has been a culmination of about 30 years worth of work. Dr. Rosevic started it way back in the early 1990s, presenting his first paper at the Historical Society on this topic in 1992. We'd been working on the project for about two and a half years. When Dr. Rosevic passed away last April, it was his legacy and finishing it through was really important to us. And we've gotten a lot of really great support from both the university and the Historical Society. We have kind of like the jumping off point for a lot of other great research that can come in the future, whether it be through the university or at the Historical Society or just somebody who's interested in the topic.